have your have your lovely subscribers mentioned me lately because I, I haven't been on the <laughs> on the videos. Do you miss being on the videos? Well, I like being on them occasionally, you know. Oh, here you are. Yeah. Yeah, here I am. I've just I've just washed my hair, that's why it's Yeah, in. no, it looks lovely. Pa well, I oh, know. I've got your big hair, by the way. I wondered where that yeah, was. Yeah, I've got it. Sorry. Sorry. That's why it looks like this, because Lauren's taken It looks like you've used big, big hair. hair, to be honest. Well... <laughs> <laughs> Good morning, happy Saturday. I'm wearing the old faithful dress. <laughs> this is this is new, but literally like it's it's my go-to now. It's just so comfy. It's smart, it's cash. It's not cash, it's like it's just perfect for so many things. So I'm in Nebworth today, which is in Hertfordshire. I am I'm going for an afternoon tea with my mum. Uh, you know, you're actually going to see my mum out of the house and not in Cyprus, um, in the in the wild, and uh, my sister-in-law and her mum. Yeah, the this place apparently does really good afternoon teas, but I think they're stopping it or they're close. I don't know. This is like the last day we can get one of their awesome afternoon teas. What theme is it? I think it's a theme. I think it's like Little Mermaid themed. So I'm just going to do a little bit of makeup in the car. I'm early. For once in my life. And you know how I love a car makeup moment. I'm not gonna do a lot because one, I don't need it. And two, none of us need it. I might do some vitamin C brightening serum. Why did I do that before, after my primer? That's annoying of me. Oh well. That's waking me up. <laughs> I just got this. I a Costa vanilla latte in a can. I don't know why. I can always taste can when I drink these drinks. And I always think, oh, this will be nice. And it's never nice. No. We've just walked to the place and mum had to check if she'd locked her car and she hadn't. <laughs> yeah, that top looks lovely. That's the first time I've seen it. Oh, yeah, it's great, isn't it? Can you stand here? I'm just going to do it. I think it was Joe Brown's. I'm going to do a... His uh, outfit of the day. Hi. Hello. What have you got? A lovely top. Yeah, lovely. Lovely skirt. What shoes? Sparkles. Sparkles and sparkles. Nice. Sparkles. Yeah, I don't think it clashes a bit with the, <laughs> with the skirt, but I don't get... <laughs> I'm so hungry. I haven't eaten today yet. Oh, I had uh, some yogurt and pomegranate. Yogurt. Oh, that, oh, yeah. oh no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it looks so good. <laughs> Baby, you give me ice and fire. wonder why my sunglasses are filthy but yet yeah, I never keep them in a case ever <laughs> that was so nice so 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 nice um, oh little fish finger sandwich with tartar sauce we had 
um, I'm not sure if I've played the audio, but we had Little Mermaid music in the background. It was Little Mermaid themed. Did you get that? Um, oh, I'm so full. I've got a little dog doggy bag with my cookie that I didn't eat. And I gave my marshmallow, my home homemade marshmallow to Sarah. And I gave her this icing thing as well, because she, and I gave her my white chocolate seahorse because I don't like fondant icing and I don't like white chocolate so she will scoff those I think she took them in her doggy bag as well it's so hot it says it's 27 degrees this is the kind of day where so what it's three o'clock now and I know that I should go and make the most of the sun most. I know I should go make the most of the sunshine but I just want to be in bed <laughs> I want to edit because I need to edit this video for tomorrow get it uploaded and because my camera can squeaky brakes because my camera can film in 4k it means that I need to leave longer so that it can process and upload in 4k because if I leave it really close to the timer that means that I don't leave enough time to upload it in 4K. So since I stop editing at 3 p.m. on a Sunday, I won't have time to render it in 4K and upload it in 4K because it just takes a lot longer because the files are a lot bigger. So I want to get it finished so that I can have the best quality. So you can see my face in the best quality possible. You know what it is? It's because of that, that if I go out and enjoy the sun or the outside, all I'll be thinking is I need to get my video done so what's the point so that needs to come first because that's important to me did I go the wrong way no that's the most important thing to me today I should probably do this in the day where there's better light and I can actually be bothered to put on a bra so, oh, so the first thing I'm going to try on is this dress that I got. It's from Very. I got it from, can you see me in the, okay, no, it's fine. Normally in the mirror, you can see some sort of orifice. So I got this dress in Dorset in a charity shop, Sue Ryder, when I was there a couple of weeks ago. And you know when you try something on and you can't, mm, I remember it was a bit of a squeeze. Oh my God, the girls. <laughs> the girls. They can't breathe. Oh, wow. I think I was wearing a different bra when I bought this. Oh. It's a bit tight on the mid, on the top half. But it has pockets. I mean, yeah, if I don't move my arms, oh, it makes the booze move. <laughs> Could you see that? <laughs> I actually really like that. I think it looks really nice. What size is it? Not that sizing matters, but I'm just interested. I can't remember. But yeah, it feels slinky. This would be a good date dress because it's a little bit, but it's a bit, do you know what I mean? Yeah, I'm with a little shoe. Hair up moment? No. Okay, that's number one. Bear with. Apparently it's a two part set. What does that mean? What am I missing? <laughs> Maybe a belt? No. We'll never know. So that's apparently size 22. It's funny, isn't it? Because at the moment I take size 24, maybe 26 because of these. You're welcome. Basically, I was just going to go on a massive rant about sizing and worth, but I won't. I'll spare you. So we've got the skirt from the other day to try on from next. I haven't decided whether I'm keeping this yet. It's actually JD Williams. It's not even next. I was going to wear it today, but I decided to wear my old faithful. Oh dress so I think this is a size 26 actually and earlier I tried it on with a dark top but now I'm trying it on with my white one 
I don't like it. Because if I were to put it up, it's not me, is it? It's like, it's not, it, it, it's nothing wrong with it. It's just not me. No, no, it returned the top. Let's do it all in one. Because the size of our clothes doesn't equate our worth. No, wrong colour. I don't like the mall. Mall. And it's way too long. No. Oh, I'm so glad I tried these on because I would have just kept that because I thought, oh, it's the right shape. It's fine. It's not fine. Because look, this is similar, but it's cropped. So much better, right? Just that little bit of fabric. Oh, we've got two more things to try on. Okay, no for the skirt. Sweaty work. So now we have some awesome jeans that I got from Vinted. <gasps> I think these were like four quid. They're size 26, ASOS. ASOS design. I feel like they were collusion, but obviously not. Oh. Are they gonna fit? Because they have zero stretch in them. Oh, by the skin of their teeth. By the skin of their skinny skin skin. Ugh. A squat. Oh. I mean, this is a thing. It looks like I have a penis. I said that way too loud with my windows open. I think they're really cool. What do you think? <laughs> yeah, because if I pull them up at the front and turn that over, that's better. Because I have less pouch room. Winner. And they feel like proper nice denim as well. Because I don't actually have any denim at the moment that fits me. I've got one pair of like stretchy jeggings. <laughs> she says about to... What's that? These are some Lucy and Yak. Yak did yak gag. I don't think these are gonna fit me because their sizes. Lucy and Yak are like a... They do really cool clothes, but their sizes are all over the place. So I tried a jumpsuit on in size 30 and it didn't, it, I couldn't get it over my shoulders. But yet these are size 26 and these seem okay. So let's, oh, oh, that's why it's the straps. Get the straps on properly. <clears throat> I don't look like a big child. I got these on Vinted. They were, I think 20 quid when they should have been like at least 50 new. That's the thing with Lucy and Yak. They're so expensive. Okay, I'm not gonna look yet. Oh, she says looking in the mirror, because I've got one there. I don't feel like they're gonna be flattering in any way, which is a word I hate, but you know, we've all been raised on the word. Why has it got belt hooks on it? I feel like I'm about to go and do a day in the farm. <laughs> Just need a, a bit of straw and a cap. Oh, my mum washed these for me because they smell a bit weird when I got they got when they arrived. And they smell so nice now. They smell like mummy washing. Yeah, because the belt hooks are here. Like, if I was gonna add a belt to this, which I wouldn't do, that's the wrong hole. Maybe this will be the thing that pulls the whole look together. I mean, my belt's too small. <laughs> but you get the idea. <laughs> Who's wearing that with a belt? No. <sighs> I think these need to be sold again. Because I got some, um, I got some Lucy and Yak yellow corduroy ones, like the long length jumpsuit 
these. I got these on Vinted for a tenner. And this, I'll show you a picture. They're really, really cute. But this just, no. What about with like one side down? Like a sexy queer person. Like just got a boob out for, for summer. Boobs out for summer. I feel like I'm about to breastfeed, to be honest. And what do you do with this? Tuck it in. I mean, I think that's cuter. You can always be like, boop. <laughs> hmm. Anyway, thanks for coming to my hot, sweaty try-on on a Saturday night. Uh, cut to bubble, friend. Thank you. Why? I just said, cut to bubble, friend. Oh. That was weird. <laughs> so did I actually have a choice? No. Oh. No. Hello. <laughs> Hello. Your collar's wonky. The other one. Hi. Why are you here? I don't know. Why am I here, Lauren? <laughs> what is life? What is life? Oh, hi there, morning. I'm trying to make the effort to film my life in different angles. Yeah, just to make this just a little bit more interesting for me, I think, and to challenge my video making skills, films, whatever. <laughs> oh, it's Sunday morning, welcome. I need to put some moisturizer on my face. Have you seen the film on Netflix Tick Tick Boom with Andrew Garfield. Now, I am not a musical person because I didn't grow up with a family that really liked musicals. So I've just never been into them. But as I've grown up, I've, because I always used to be like, oh, I hate musicals, full stop. <sighs> but as I'm growing into my own person and I can you know, make my own unique thoughts. I have seen a few musicals that I've freaking loved. I loved Kinky Boots at the Adelphi, went to see that. I, I saw Grease, I didn't like that, it was a long time ago. Um, I saw Dream Girls, it was good, but I can't remember being blown away by it like I was Kinky Boots. Tick Tick Boom on Netflix. If you like musicals and you haven't seen Tick Tick Boom, not Tick Tick Boom isn't sponsored in any way. I'll get to the point in a minute. Lauren, just get to the point now. It's about the guy, I can't remember his name. It's about the guy who wrote the musical Rent and his life. And the songs are just excellent. Like I'm not, oh obviously I love The Greatest Showman, but I didn't like Chicago. Anyway, you're probably gonna, I'm probably gonna lose a lot of love here. But what I'm saying is that we can all change as people. And just because we have a thought once in our life, it doesn't mean it needs to say the same thought for the rest of our lives. So. The reason why I am talking about Tick Tick Boom is because there's a so song in it called Sunday in a cool silver chromium diner. Basically, there's a song called Sunday and it's Sunday. So that whole spiel was to say, I've got that song in my head. It's Sunday. Happy Sunday. We have a beautiful blue, blue skied morning today. It's quite early. My video for later today is all uploaded. I'm really excited. It's all done. It's all ready. It's we're in 4K, waiting for your viewing pleasure. In a cool silver chromium diner. Sit the fools who could eat at home instead of in Sunday. When I was making my coffee, I was like, oh. I finished all my Maryland cookies, like I don't have anything sweet to have with my coffee. And then I remembered, I've got my leftover biscuit from yesterday. So, oh, I tried to give Lauren a bite of it last night. She is not interested. <laughs> oh. Oh. Mm. It's vanilla cream and jam in there. Mmm. My videos recently, specifically the one two weeks ago, popped off. It's currently popping off because 
It's currently the 3rd of September. I'm one of the OGs. <laughs> uh, there's a lot of story on here, so if you're bored, go and binge me. Go and watch me. There's a lot of story, there's a lot of me. A lot of versions of me. Yeah, a lot of stuff. I should do a little intro about me. So yeah, I'm high. Hi, I'm high. Um, I'm not high. It's... it's <laughs> Don't do drugs for kids. Um, I... <laughs> I've literally just had a coffee and a biscuit. I'm high on sugar, maybe. So I live in London. My name's Lauren. Lauren May, M-A-E. Uh, I'm 37. Did I just say that? I am a Taurus. My birthday is the 8th of May. I um, am 37 years old. <laughs> I never know how old I am, ever. Um, and when it approaches a new birthday, I always have to text my friend Charlie and say, because her birthday's in February. I'm like... Charlie, how old are you? She's like, I did this this year. She's like, you're going to be 37. You do this every year. And I've known Charlie since I was like 11. <laughs> so she's had this for 16 years. How old are we? Um, yeah, I live in my little studio on my own. And I don't have kids. And it's ex excellent. I'm currently dating. I am bisexual. I like big butts and I cannot lie. Sorry, I did well, who doesn't? I like crisps. I like cheese and ham toasties. I like fairy lights. I love lava lamps. Literally, this is me literally reading off my Tinder profile. <laughs> Wait, no, it's not Tinder, it's Bumble. Let me read you my Bumble profile. That will be a good... A good... Why is this? This isn't funny. Oh, I deleted Bumble. Great. If I search bum, it doesn't come up. Right. Why? Something else comes up. I'm joking. I live in Northwest London. I'm a Londoner, born and bred. I grew up in North London. I work with my mum. We work in travel. It's her business, but I'm currently taking over. So she, we rent villas in Cyprus for holidays. You often see me just like pottering around. I don't film my work a lot. So a lot of people don't think I work at all. Um, YouTube's just side hustle. I've thought many times about making YouTube a full-time thing, but I feel like it will compromise me as a creator, as a human, and I want to keep my YouTube as... I was going to say... Vir I was going to say virginal. Basically, what I mean is I've only ever done two sponsored ads. This was years ago. I did one for BetterHelp because I use BetterHelp even now, and I stand by the fact they're great. And one I did on Instagram for like Alpro soya milk. That was years ago. But I don't do ads because I wanna keep, I get approached a lot to do a lot of like weight loss stuff and a lot of clothes. And I always say, remove me off your mailing list because I wanna keep this as fun and wholesome and real as possible, not like, oh, let me just listen with these headphones. Oh yes, this is sponsored by Beats by Dre. No, what is real anymore? This, me and my t-shirt, no pants, downloading Bumble to read you my profile. That is real life, right? Would you like Bumble to send you notifications? No. Do you wanna see my profile? So this is the first picture. Um, this was taken in the IV when I went with M and Seda. Okay, here we go. I'm looking to meet new people. Not looking for anything serious right now. All right, calm down. I love art, painting, singing badly, spicy cocktails, breakfast for dinner, driving, <laughs> alone time, lava lamps, white noise, flowers, sushi, cheese with everything, classical music, fairy lights. Hello? That was my mum. A cosy blanket and early nights. That rhymes, fairy lights, a cosy blanket and early nights. Yeah, I think that's basically me in a, in, a, in a nutshell. This is a picture of me at the beach, so you can see that I've got bum and, bum and boobs and I'm not, uh, yeah. I'm still not over Milky Way Crispy Rolls being discontinued, RIP. Uh, this is a picture of me from when I went to uh, my friend's Hendu the other day and we got blow dries, boobs look great. Uh, and yeah, this is a picture of when I went to London Bridge with Rizelle. And uh, the world would be a better place with more women as leaders. And that's me. Something I learned way later than I should have 
that it's express express oh i still get it wrong espresso not espresso i literally only learned that about two years ago and all bodies deserve respect and here we go so and i've linked it up with my spotify so everyone can everyone can see what great music taste i have so that's me welcome to the channel welcome to my life you are loved and you are welcome here also i meant to say that i post videos every sunday at six roughly roughly at six sometimes it later it's later it depends if i get my ass in gear you know those days when you haven't done a wash so you need to wear your fancy pants <laughs> and you're like i'm wearing fancy pants on a normal day because i haven't got any normal pants and that's today <laughs> we've got some sexy pants on um what top am i gonna wear I've decided to take myself for a little brunch to treat myself because I haven't had a treat for at least 12 hours. So. <clears throat> hey Google, what temperature is London today? It feels hot. 24. In London today, expect a high of 26 and a low mm. of 16. Yeah, no, this is too cropped for this. Yeah, my pants are showing. <laughs> my special pants are showing. I'm just going to wear a green version of the white one, which again is from Lauren. It's got a small hole in it, but you can't tell. Well, I don't care. Ready? Actually, no, I need shoes. my sandals oh. okay that will keep me cool you know when you just like that that will do that will do pig Okay, I've just got out the pool. It was not good. I got there at five on a Sunday and all the kids in the local area were having swimming lessons and screaming. That is not an over-exaggeration. <laughs> um, okay, we've got five minutes till my video goes live. Um, so luckily most of them got out, but then it was just a bit busy because we only had two lanes out of three and it was just not the best and I wasn't really feeling it. But I thought, you know what? It's so warm today. I was just like, I just want to be in the water. That's my goal. So I achieved my goal. Where's my hair tie? Oh, it's in my gym bag. Oof. My aunt left her at my house. Well, mum's house, so. I've stolen it. I messaged her and I was like, you left your hair grip at mum's house. She was like, I've got so many, I don't know what one it is. So I was like, well, you won't miss it then. <laughs> uh, yeah, we've got four minutes. So I'm just going to sit here and upload my video to Instagram. Make sure. Oh my God, I haven't done the adverts. Sugar. Sugar, sugar. 
It's important that I do them because if I don't only put in four, max five, depending on how long the video is, YouTube puts about 20 in because it's freaking an idiot. Put my chair back. Oh, there we go. Okay, hotspot, baby. Do you want to join Lauren's hotspot? Yes, I do. So this is the current setup. <laughs> Why am I filming myself instead of actually doing what I'm here to do? <clears throat> ba -ba -bum. Look, this is what they do. So this is my video. It's 52 minutes long. They've put in 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 adverts. Which is ridiculous. So... Yeah, I mean, don't get me wrong. I would love the money that 13 adverts would get me, but I would not love the freaking aggro that you lot would feel <laughs> sitting there watching advert after advert after advert. <sighs> okay, I need to get move on swift, quick, sharp. thought I'd come for some this is what I always want to do I always want to come here Queen's Park and just sit and I never do it so here we are it's cool it's lovely it's actually I've got about half an hour till the park closes so I need to make sure I don't get locked in <laughs> but there's enough people around to know that um, I'm not alone so we could form a human ladder if needed stop talking let's just enjoy this this piece. Whenever I make an effort and do these type of things, I always think to myself, why do I never do it? The grass smells amazing. It smells like hot grass after a really warm day. The breeze is beautiful, the trees. I just did a little meditation and it's just amazing. You can hear all the green parakeets as well. Sorry, it's dark. I'm home now. Um, yeah, just after I finished my meditation, all of the park wardens came around and started blowing this high-pitched whistle and like, park shutting everybody out. I mean, it was nicer than that. It's Queen's Park, but um, the, yeah, the threat was there. So, um... <laughs> I, you know what I was thinking as I was meditating and like trying to relax, I was thinking, what am I having for dinner? Cause I'm really hungry. And then I was like, oh, I haven't eaten the kale I bought last week. If you are an OG, a AKA you watched video two weeks ago, you saw that I bought kale to try and make a salad I had about seven years ago and have never had kale since. So, but um, <laughs> Drum roll, please. I've actually made a salad with the kale. You can't actually see it because it's dark. And you know when you toss a salad and all the good bits go to the bottom? So in the salad, we have kale. It's covered in um, Caesar dressing. We've got chickpeas, mini gherkins, croutons. Did I say croutons? Chickpeas. Have I said chickpeas? <laughs> Cherry tomatoes. Let me try this kale. Oh my God. This is going to be hard work. I mean, having a mouthful of just kale was probably a mistake. I'm just trying to eat more nutrients and eat different things. I eat the same things all the time. These mini gherkins are the saviour. Mmm. 
Note to self, don't buy kale again. <laughs> Morning. Happy Monday. There is a school near my house. It's the 4th of September today and the kids are back in force. The screeching. I mean, I have my windows open, but still. Um, so, <laughs> oh, I slept so well. But I didn't go to sleep till like 1 a.m. because I watched Dear Evan Hansen on Netflix. I really wanted to see it on the stage because it's a musical. Um, flashback to when I was talking about Tick Tick Boom the other week and my newfound enjoyment. I'm not going to say love because I feel that's a bit strong. Enjoyment of musicals. So, um, dear Evan Hansen, I really liked it, but my critiques would be, uh, first of all, I didn't know what the story was about at all. So that was, it was not expected. And second of all, I feel like the songs were all a bit too similar. I think it's written by the same songwriters as The Greatest Showman. But so many of the songs, I thought, is this the same as the other one? Are they going to link it in? And it wasn't. It was a different song. But the guy who plays Evan Hansen is, I mean, it's really well cast. The actors are amazing. It's got Juliana Moore in it. It's got Amy Adams in it. And Amy Adams plays the mum of, like, a senior in high school. And I'm like, Amy Adams is, like, my age. <laughs> Why are the parents, like, looking younger than me? Hey, Google, how old is Amy Adams? Amy Adams is 49 years old. Okay, fair. She looks good. She's looking good for it. For it. Um, well, what does that even mean? Okay, Lauren, it's not even 9am on a, on a Monday. Let's not get into it too deep too soon. That's what she said. Anyway, let's start off the day with some hydration. Sorry, on this channel we say hydration. Because it's creepy and weird. I have a doctor's appointment. I had to have emergency doctor's appointment this morning for something that I'm a bit embarrassed about, which I'm not gonna tell you, which I know is really annoying. I'll tell you after, I'll tell you after. But yeah, in the in the interests of being real. Uh, right, I'm gonna get on with some work before I actually have to leave because it's, yeah, anyway, bye. Here's a little tip that I realized last night. I just booked a hotel for a night in Florence. Um, because I'm a bridesmaid there in like a week and a half. And when the wedding's finished, we're all going back to Florence and kind of going our separate ways, but I'm staying a night there. I've never been. I was looking at booking, I mean, I should have booked it ages ago. Let's just be real. It's like a week away, but um, me. So um, I looked on booking.com. There weren't that many options. So I was like, and I find obviously Florence is so old that so many of the, and also because I'm a single traveler, solo traveller, loads of them were just like trying to put me in a tiny single room, like at the back end of nowhere, and it was just not nice. I looked on hotel, hotels.com, not sponsored, and then I looked, obviously I was about to pay, I found one I really liked, because loads of them barely have a window, these single rooms, because they're literally just like shoved in them, yeah, just shoved. I finally found one, and then I was like, it said enter your discount code here, so I thought, okay, I'm going to look for one. So I looked for a discount code and I saw something that said, if you get the hotels.com app, you say 15%. So I went onto the app and I, it was cheaper than the website. So I got it for like 15 pounds off and I got top cash back. Yeah, I got like 12% cash back. Yeah, that extra money off. So I think for a night, it cost me like 145, which is not bad at all. Um, let me see if my top cash back has come through. I loved, if you don't use top cash back, you need to. Oh, so that you can see here, hotels.com, 15 pounds 69 pending. So I saved like 30 quid, whoop whoop. Oh my God, <laughs> he was the cutest doctor I've ever seen. I've never seen him there before in my life. And I had to get my pants down uh, for him. Well, not for him, for him to have a look. So basically, um, I've got a skin tag on my lower back, which I've had for about 10 years. 
um, you know, in the realness of being real, the realist. I'm not going to show you a picture because firstly, you'd probably throw up and secondly, um, you don't need that, that much realness in your life. So, <sighs> because I'm a bridesmaid, I was like, right, I need to get this thing removed because I've had it, I've had it about 10 years. I've had it looked at twice. It's benign. It's definitely benign. I'm not gonna get in trouble by like, I'm not gonna get anything wrong with me by removing it. Actually, I need to go into B&M and that's just here. I'm on the way to mum's now. And then when I'm back in the car, I'll properly explain. I need some, what do I need? I need some cleanser. Are you going, you dickhead? No. <laughs> oh, he was so cute. Bloody hell. In like suit trousers and a shirt tucked in with a belt. I mean, I know that nobody should objectify anyone, but he had a very peachy bum. Is it full of Christmas stuff? What did I need to get last time that I didn't get? Does anyone want a bum mask? What even is that? Makes your bum appear more plump. Hmm. So I want to get some defrizz control freak, frizz control. 6.59? No. Well, I don't need that because I don't have blonde hair. I'll get that. I have literally just walked past all of the cleansers. I was like, what am I even here for? That's a big boy. These are the cleansing pads I have. They're really good. So I think I might get another packet of these. Sorry about that, shoving you in my bag. I always hate it when people see me filming. Even though I'm not filming them. Excuse me. Excuse me. It's the other door. It's the other door. He was trying to bang on the exit. How do some people like exist? He was like, hello. I got the um, cherry coffee. It says cherry, sweet cherry chocolate notes. It could be absolutely disgusting, but it was 2 99 And you know, coffee nowadays is like, you have to get out a small mortgage. God, I sound like my, my, my dad. You have to get out a small mortgage. He's never said that. Um, I also got tea tree oil to put on, well, everything skin tag, whatever. Um. Mmm, smells nice. I text mum saying, do you need anything in B&M? And she messaged me back as I literally was, well, no. So as I was in the queue, I was gonna say as I was about to pay, but that was a lie because um, there was a woman in front of me with like 5,000 things in a, t in a trolley. Ooh, anti back. This is the worst anti back ever because it's like pure liquid. Okay, I need to start taking some antibiotics. Hmm, brown and black. Yum. quickly. I can't 
can't remember where I got to with the skin tag story, so we're just gonna start it from the beginning. So, about 10 years ago, maybe more, I got a skin tag at like the top of my bum crack, and it was small. And I went to the hospital to get it like looked at, and well, to be honest, I really wanted to get it removed because I was like, I don't like it. Um, she looked at it and she was like, it's benign, therefore you're not getting it removed because we're in NHS. And I was like, okay, fine. And it hasn't really bothered me for all this time, even though it's a bit embarrassing. And then over the last couple of years, it's grown a bit. So I think this was mid pandemic. I can't remember when it was, but I went to get it looked at again because it had grown and it had, um, it had, it had kind of faded because it was, it was brown before, but it had faded. Um, so that it was more like skin colour and this is when Laura and I were together and she was like or maybe even before that but she was like it's changed colour so I got referred to this dermatologist in Wembley he he didn't even need to look at it through his little scope thing I just like whipped down the top of my trousers he was like skin tag I was like and he was like, yeah, you're, you're not gonna have any luck getting rid of that on the NHS because, you know, we don't have the cuts for it. We don't have the money for it. And I was like, that's fair enough. So then I was thinking about going private, but I just, obviously when you want to go private for something like that, you don't know who to trust. You don't know what's going to be a good price because you have to have consultations before you can get prices. And to be honest, I don't have skin tag removal money. You know, I've got living and keeping myself alive money, but yeah, so it got bigger. So it was about that. Well, it was it, maybe about that. So then I found a Groupon. I was like, they do it on Groupon, like skin tag removal. Um, I'll just go. So I booked, I booked one and they. I was on my way. This was in somewhere in Hemel. I was on my way to the appointment and they called me and they said, oh, sorry, we've got to cancel your appointment today. There's been a, there's been an emergency and there's nobody here. I was like, so Maggie had wanted to take, Maggie had said she'll take me. We both got up early on a Saturday. This was about a month and a half ago, two months ago. I got Maggie up on a Saturday at mine at half nine. She bought me breakfast. She was ready in the car to pick me up because I was a bit like overwhelmed by it all. Um, yeah, got to like basically the end of my road because Maggie lives like half an hour drive from me now. So she came all the way to me, got to the end of my road. Yeah, sorry, it's been cancelled. So we went for coffee and we kind of made a nice little morning of it anyway. Then I remade the appointment for the next week with the same clinic in Hemel. It's called My Beauty Centre. So if you see them, do not book with them because I drove all the way there uh, they confirmed the appointment, drove all the way there to Hemel, which was about 45 minutes drive. And they were shut. They didn't answer their phone. They didn't answer their emails. They didn't answer anything. Um, and they've, they've got loads of five star reviews. So it wasn't as if I chose somewhere that had not been reviewed at all. Maybe they were all fake, who knows. Oh, so it was just so annoying. I was, I was so close to getting this thing severed from my life forever. And then I was like, right, I'm just gonna have to look at a new one. So I was having a look at some other like deals, but I looked at the small print and loads of the small, so if you have a skin tag and you're looking to get it removed on Groupon, I mean, that's a phrase I didn't ever think I'd say on the camera, look in the small print because loads of them say max two mil, two by two mil. And it's like, that is freaking tiny. Like if I've got one that tiny, who's caring about that? Basically, I looked at quite a few, and basically mine was bigger than all of the all of the measurements that that it said. So I was like, right, I need to take matters in my to my own hands. Uh, Lauren came over, and we tied string around it. She's been wanting to las lasso this thing off for years because she knows how much it's like upset me, how much it affects my confidence and stuff. Um. So when I was like it's time <laughs> she was like okay no i'm joking so she came over tied some dental floss around it and we thought great that's that no no it it 
it's got a personality of its own because it now is <laughs> three times the size that it was before. The Because I was trying to like make sure that the floss was on. I kept like tightening it. Sorry, I should have done a trigger warning, shouldn't I? Trigger warning. Yeah, obviously because it's at that place, I can't see it unless I like look in the mirror and like turn, like trying to like, anyway. So because I kept thinking that, I kept wanting it to be tight, I kept pulling at the end of the string and obviously that was, basically it was kind of cutting into it at the base, which is kind of what I wanted. It was kind of severing it off without me knowing it. I just knew that it was so painful. And every time I sat down, I was like, oh, oh. which time I laid, I couldn't lay on my back. It was hurting so much. This was last week. Um, not that you could see it in my face or in the videos. I just, yeah kept stum. So then um, on Saturday night when I said click, ta um, cut to bubble French and I went like that, she was there to help me remove the string. That's why I was like why are you here? Because obviously she wasn't going to say it but I just wanted to like goad her a bit. I don't know why she was there to do me a massive favour for Saturday night skin tag surgery. She took the the thing off. She was so shocked at how big it was firstly. She was like, I can't believe how big it's gone, how angry it looks. It's like, it was really, it was weeping. So to be honest, her reaction got me a bit worried. Cause I was just like, it's fine. It's just, it's external from my body. It's fine. Um, so then I ended up calling 111 and I gave all the details to the woman on the phone. She was like, I've never heard that before. So anyway, they were the ones that prescribed me those by antibiotics. So then in the morning, someone from 111 actually called me because I called like 10 o'clock at night. But someone in the morning called me and they said, yeah, you need to see a doctor within, you need to speak to a doctor within 24 hours. So that's why I made my emergency appointment today, went in and saw the fittest doctor in the whole entire world that I had to show my disgusting skin tag to. And it's probably burned into his retina for all of time. And when we get married, that's all he's gonna <laughs> I take the skin tag. I mean, Lauren. <laughs> so long story short, I've been referred to minor surgeries. And he was like, it could take eight weeks. I'm like, Lauren just wanted to slice it off then and there. She's like, there's not much left hanging. It's hanging on, there's not much left. I could just slice it. I'm like, you are not slicing this off. With, uh, I'm not taking, you see these idiots on TV. I've been an idiot enough trying to remove it myself. I'm not letting you slice it. And I was like, I've got a standing knife. And no, don't, let's not. So that's the story of the skin tag. I thought also that when I removed the twine around it, um, that it would just go back to normal, but it's it's really angry. And he was like, yeah, it's really pussy inside. I'm like, yeah. I, tr <laughs> I tried to write to Lauren. It looks really pussy, but how do you spell pussy? It does not look like, yeah. <laughs> so I was like, I'm just gonna let her see it when she gets here. So, um, that was disgusting. Uh, yeah, real life, baby. <laughs> uh, what a video. <laughs> I have fallen asleep twice watching this, <laughs> trying to edit it. Whenever I watch myself, I just find it so relaxing. It just sends me to sleep. I fell asleep this morning at 9am after I woke up at 7. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Um, the skin tag is, it's how many days after that is this? I think we're two days after I take the skin tag. I'm still laughing about that joke though. Um, <laughs> he was so hot. The doctor. Oh God, I'm going to be like, I'm only going to see him from now on. I need to get his name. Oh god, that grunt. Anyway, so uh ba 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 yes. I um it's boiling hot today. But I've had my fan on so I got a bit cold, so I put a t-shirt on. I wasn't naked before, I had a but <laughs> TMI as always. So yeah, you've got to this part of the video. You are amazing. Um thank you. Oh, hello. I really liked your co commenting superstar last week. It was really good. I'm trying to think of another, another like equivalent. Diamond. You're a diamond. 
write you a diamond and I'll give you a diamond. <laughs> in in the comments, emoji, not haven't got diamond money, haven't even got skin tag removal money. So yeah, thank you so much for watching. I love you so much. You're amazing. Um, next week I'll be in Tuscany, but I'm already working on the video. Don't you worry. You're not going to be left in the lurch. So yeah, I love you lots. Thank you for getting to nearly an hour. Mm -hmm. Bye.